Hello everyone, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nand Kyolir and today we are here to discuss the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences which has been recently announced. So let's see who will be presented with this year's award. So this year's Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences, the first half of the award will be presented to Joel Mokir for having identified the prerequisites for sustained growth through technological progress. The first half will go to him and the second half will be jointly presented to Philippe Aguillon and Peter Howard for their theory of sustained growth through creative destruction. So the first half is for sustained growth through technological progress and the second half is for sustained growth through creative destruction. Now let's talk about their work in a little detail. So Joel Moke talked about sustained growth, sustained growth through technological progress technological progress. So he basically analyzed some case studies from Europe. So pre-industrial revolution era and the post-industrial revolution era. He studied some cases and then he identified that before industrial revolution, the economic growth of the countries that was basically very temporary. It was sporadic. It was not sustained. But after industrial revolution, things changed. After industrial revolution, the economic growth became more sustained and more permanent and more long term in nature. So what happened in industrial revolution? technological progress, technological advancement happened in industrial revolution and this helped him identify that the cultures who basically value scientific temperament, experimentation and technological progress, they show sustained economic growth. So this is what he studied. And then the second half talks about sustained growth through creative destruction. Now, if you notice, these are two antonyms being used together, creation and destruction. So here the economists, they studied that every time a new thing is created, like a new technology is created, a new skill is created, something old is replaced or destroyed. So it's a continuous process of creative destruction. You create new things, you create new technology, you create new advancement and the older ones, the older skills, the older companies, the older technologies, they have to be destroyed. But in this continuous process of creative destruction, something is created and a sustained growth is achieved. So destruction is not happening solely. Creation is also happening simultaneously and this creative destruction is giving rise to a sustained economic growth. Because what is this going to help us with? All these things are going to help us identify why some countries they perform so well, they grow so well, they're economically so sound versus some countries fall into the middle income trap. Why? Because they're following the countries that are growing, they're following scientific temperament, they're following this experimentation, technological process, creative destruction, they're following all these things. That is why they're able to grow, they're able to succeed versus who are not following these things, they're not able to succeed, they do not see sustained results. So this helps us identify the patterns. Then this also helps us devise our policies more effectively because once we know where the challenges are, where the gaps are, what needs to be done, only then can we come up with better policies and we can implement them properly. And then all these things also help us solve our modern day challenges like climate change, AI, because we're talking about technological progress, we're talking about innovation driven growth. So these things also help us deal with the modern day challenges. So this is what these economists, they studied. That is why they are being presented with this year's Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences. That was all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the discussion. Now, before we practice a question for prelims, I want to tell you that there is a great offer for you at the moment. There's a Diwali sale that's ongoing where you will get up to 50% off all on our online courses. And this is the number that you need to call on for more information, 87501, 87501, and you will be guided thoroughly. Now, let us practice a question for prelims. The 2025 Nobel Prize in Economics was awarded for work related to A. Behavioral Economics and Nudges B. Trade Liberalization and Globalization C. Innovation and Long Run Economic Growth or D. Monetary Policy and Inflation Targeting Choose the correct option. Please provide your answers in the comments section and we will meet in a new video. Thank you for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.